the coolest fish that swims. Prehistoric killing machine. Got him, got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Got him, big one, big one, big one, yes! yes! Got him. Got him, oh my gosh, giant, giant. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Dude, that is a giant. Wow. I finally got a big one. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video here. Very excited about today. The first dog hunt of 2021. Uh, Heidi's in the boat today, and she's looking for her first dogfish ever. So that's the goal today get Heidi on her first doggy. Um, never fished on this early. Not sure exactly what the plan is. Um, I think my first main objective though is to catch some bluegills, get some bait. Just the water is ultra clear in this uh, in this bay um, where I'm fishing in the Northwoods. We had some good success last year. Um, one of the only places we caught dogfish last year was on this body of water. So definitely some good size potential in this uh, in this place. I think I think Lee's was like 28 inches and just super super fat. So yeah, after the state record. Um, I don't know if it'll happen today. Good chance some of these dogfish might be on beds, which I don't know if I'll totally enjoy doing that if they are on beds, but who knows, not sure exactly what, what they're doing this time of year. So it'll be interesting. But yeah, first thing first, let's get some bluegills, get some bait and uh, go from there. Okay, well, I wasn't recording, but uh, first fish of the day is a nice black crappie. Not exactly what I'm after. That's a little big for bait, I would say. Um, I would feel bad putting him on a hook. <laughs> well, it's cool to see uh, bait up shallow. Nice fish shallow, so if there's uh, some crappies, there's got to be some doggies around. Big one sitting on those logs. Oh, dang it, I just lost one. Gosh, he ate it right away. I didn't get any hooks in him. Chasing that, those minnows around. Ah, oh, no, it's not. It's just a big largemouth. Jeez. Wow. Look how big you are. You're chasing the. Gosh. Alrighty. Maybe this is what I had before. That's a big mouth on you. Holy cow. <laughs> That'll work, I guess. I saw him stirring up the bluegills. That is a nice, healthy largemouth from this body of water. Wow, look at the hole. Perfect hole in this. On his top fin. Gosh, it's like a... Oh, <laughs> I don't know I even know what you call that. I'm gonna get a quick bump on this guy. Just at 19. Gosh. That's a cool fish, though. I'll take it. Not what we're after, though. <laughs> Huh, no doggies, but that's a pretty cool though. <laughs> oh, there's one. Dang it. How did he get spooked? Oh my gosh. I was flipping my jig on him. Got spooked. That is not like dogfish. Usually, you get any bait near them on the bottom like that, and it's go time. Running out of time to get the first dogfish of the year. 
We do have bluegills, but I don't think we'll be able to run them in these reeds. I've seen two dogfish confirmed. That was for sure one. Um, went to the original spot, obviously, early today. Now I'm fishing a new area. And uh, one thing I've learned from learned fishing with James Linder one day was this time of year, early spring, the reed, pencil reeds, are uh, definitely a go-to spot to look for them because I believe they like spawning in it. And um, I don't know if these fish are on beds at all. I haven't really seen that. Maybe they're pre-spawn, they're about to or something, but all I'm doing is just, there we go. Ah, not what I'm after. No, not what I'm after. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, wrong species. There we go. Not target species. <laughs> Just another big bass though. Alrighty, another bucket. Not what I'm after. There's a giant. He's got it. Got him, got him. Net, net, giant. Giant. Got him. So I fished his butt. Oh my gosh. He's over here, he's over here. <laughs> yes! You got the sea one, I saw him sitting in the shallows. Oh my gosh, he just swam over to the jig and uh, just gable, it just gobbled it. And uh, oh my gosh, was that cool. He just went, I tossed it like five feet away from him. He just snuck, snuck up on it and slurped it. Oh, finally a plan paid off. Went into these reeds and got rewarded. Well. Well, it's been all day and uh, we got sunset here. The main objective was to catch one dogfish. This is the early, earliest I've ever done it. Um, went into the main spot where we've uh, caught them before. Did not see a single dog in there. Switched it up and uh, went into these pencil reeds and been seeing them. I mean, the one I saw earlier, which wasn't in the pencil reeds, just in this dense stuff, uh, it was knocking on that 30 inch mark. So. This is not that, but it's a good swarm route fish for this season. And uh, what a cool body of water uh, we found up here. And uh, it's so cool that there's Northwoods doggies where, where I moved to. All right, it's been a while since I grabbed one of you guys. Gosh, they're so weird. Heidi has not seen one. And this is a female, I believe. One of the hardest fish to grab. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, first doggo of the season. How beautiful. Gosh, I love it. Look how mean they are. Oh my gosh, so cool. Alrighty, let's get them back into the water here. Gosh, what a cool animal. I can't believe people will shoot these things with a bow and arrow. <laughs> so stupid. Gosh, looks like a spawned out female. A male would have that black dot and there she goes wow well my day's made maybe we'll finish out this bay and uh, call it quits but super cool we got one <laughs> all right I was using the bantam before but with that mono I uh, I don't know I wanted braid for for especially dogfish that kind of freaks me out so this is 150 DC with of course that titanium wire 20 pound test definitely will save your day dog fishing I've learned that the hard way um, but yeah I think it's Heidi's turn to get up on top and uh, look for one that one was sitting like the thing that I'm doing is looking for some sand white bottom spots it's a lot of dark areas and usually these dogfish will sit on the sand little like gosh like there's a perfect one right there I don't know if that's a dog on it though I don't know But yeah, you might be able to see this with the camera. I'm just trying to look for these openings in the reeds. And uh, yeah, 
that's all we're doing. Super cool to catch one doing a different method. We did it! We got a dog aboard. Thank you for the net job, Heidi. Yeah, of course. <laughs> One of these days we'll catch you. Catch your very first dogfish, but uh, yeah, weird bite now. I mean, it's pretty much only gonna be a jig bite. Water's cold, top water's probably not gonna happen for another month or so. So, either way, uh, super cool. We got the first doggo on, on film so far for 2021, earliest ever yet. So, we just keep on learning oh, yeah. new things about these critters because there's really nothing on paper about them. So it's just super fun exploring these bodies of water, chasing these dogfish. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the first installment of the 2021 dog fishing series. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.